Lisa Nandy, Labour MP, has weighed into Labour's sexism row over an all-white male candidate list. What? Yeah, we're going to have a look at this from the Independent, guys. Let's go. <laughs> Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys, wherever you are in the world. This is Regan Elite here with an article from The Independent. Bothered, Lisa Nandy weighs into Labour's sexism row over an all-white male candidate list. Diversity matters, says the front bencher, who admits anger over the decision to pick five white male candidates. Let's read it before we jump to conclusions, shall we, guys? So, Labour's front bencher, Lisa Nandy, has criticised her own party for selecting five white male candidates for the upcoming by-elections forced by Tory and SNP woes. The senior shadow cabinet minister said it certainly bothered her that Labour had gone with an all-white male state for the check for the crunch votes in the months ahead, insisting that diversity matters. The female Labour MP said to be outraged at the decision, warning that it could set back the, population, the opposition's mission to reflect the makeup of the UK population. Asked if it bothered her that Labour candidates were all white men, Mrs. Nandy told the BBC Sunday with Laura Queensborough that it does. It certainly does. Diversity in politics matter. Mrs. Nandy stopped short of calling uh, for a return of Labour's use of an all women shortlist, but praised the policy first brought in by the party for the 1997 general election landslide. I am someone who stood on an all women shortlist, and the reason that, it, that that mattered, and that it mattered that Labour pioneered them. It's because to change the perception of what members of parliament look like, said the shadow levelling up secretary. Mrs Andy uh, uh, added that we can't use all white women shortlists in the Labour Party now, but I'm very committed to making sure that we continue that diversity, particularly at the local events. If we're going to hand back power to communities, the local leaders have to look like their communities that they serve. David Beagles is fighting for Boris Johnson's old seat in Uxbridge for Labour, while Ken Maffer has been selected in Salisbury and Anstey, where loyal Johnson support Nigel Adams has also quit. Meanwhile, Alistair Stratton is Labour's candidate for Med Bibbfordshire by-election, the seat Nadine Doris had promised to resign but has yet to formally do so. I see you can see the Chancellor, Shadow Chancellor Rachel Reeves campaign in Uxbridge with Danny Bowles is there as well. Um, it is a bit weird that they're all five candidates are white males. Um, were they the best candidates they could have put for those seats? I think that is something we should question, definitely, for sure. Neil Guide has been selected for Somerton and From, where David Wal Walburton has quit following his admission of cocaine use and allegations of sexual misconduct, which he continues to deny. And Michael Shank Shanks will compete in the Rothwell Glen and Hamilton West. If petitions to oust the SNP, Margaret Ferrier successfully hits the threshold to trigger a vote. It is really disappointing to see that all that all five of our candidates from the five upcoming by-elections are men. One female Labour MP told Politico after the full candidate list emerged on Friday afternoon. It appears that we may struggle to keep the number of Labour MPs in Parliament at the current 41 to 49 ratio of men and women, to which reflect the makeup of the UK's population. But we also need to make sure we do more to select disabled candidates and those from black and ethnic minorities. Labour's Women's Network said by-election selections were a sham, a shame, not a sham, uh, adding that we might be doing better against other measures. But being prepared to put up equal numbers of women when the stakes are the highest does matter. It emerged last year that Labour were dropping all women shortlist to select candidates for the next general election after advice received in the wake of the 2019 election when 51% of the MPs were women. The party reportedly received legal advice warning that continuing to use the process would be unlawful since the majority of the MPs are female. It comes as Mrs Doris looks to have run out, run out, run out the clock of a, on a by-election before Parliament's summer recess instead of taking place alongside vote, voters in the other three Tory held seats on July 20th, the mid bevershire battle looks set to take place in the autumn. The Johnson ally has been accused of wanting to inflict maximum pain on Rishi Sunak by prolonging the damage, damaging campaigners and the embarrassing embarrassment of another potential defeat. Mrs Doris has refused to formally resign until she received more information about the government about why she was denied a peerage in Mr Johnson's recognition of this, lashing out at the posh boys, Mr Sunak and his advisor, James Forstiff. 
Um, the main question, the main, the main thing here is the is the the main topic we have on discussion is um, at least around the criticizing Labour for having five white candidates, and I think that's a fair point. Why, why are we getting five white candidates? Um, why, why could it not have been a bit more diverse? I don't think that's right. I think uh, definitely needs to be questions need to be asked there, guys. Um, it's uh, a fair criticism. What you know. Um, can't always have the perfect candidate let's say that but it definitely is questionable by Labour and um, are they all foregone conclusions no I don't think any of them are foregone conclusions that's for sure um, and I think this is a very setting set a I hope this is not going to be too many um, it's not going to be all like that I'm pretty sure they're going to get more more diverse candidates for the upcoming general election when it well general election when it comes around at some point, but I think Lisa Lisa Nandy is right to criticise Labour for just picking for all these you know, by elections are so so important for the Conservatives right now. They're on the back foot. Um, polls have not been good. Uh, the public are angry with with how everything is going, how the country is going right now, and rightly so. And uh, it just feels like that. Because Labour are so ahead in the polls, it feels like oh they can put anyone in these seats and they'll guarantee a vote, which I don't I don't think that's the case at all. It feels like that's the impression that they get that people will have to vote Labour in order to keep them in power. And that's not how no, people will pay attention and if they put in a candidate that's a bit clueless or maybe doesn't have doesn't know the cons their constituents as well, doesn't mean they're guaranteed their vote. That is for sure. Um, but yeah, I, I agree with Lisa Nandy. I think it's um. Selecting five white male candidates straight out 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 the block uh, doesn't feel right to me. But what do you guys think um, about it? Let me know down in the comments below. Like, share, and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys very very soon.